Hey guys, welcome to ASP.NET Web API tutorial series. This is part 4. In this part, I'm gonna show you how to config your Web API route. Okay, so we have a Web API config file in the app start folder. You can see that it has a default, I mean, route configuration. So which is the API and followed by controller name then ID where ID is an optional parameter okay that's why whenever we are calling the API we are using API you can see API then the product this is our controller name we have a product controller so that's why this is product then followed by id okay so run the service and let's see yes it is returning that a specific product okay if we don't mention anything it will return the all the products because we have a get method there so it will automatically map to this method and if we specify the product id then it will map to the get method but with the parameter okay so this is the way how it is configuring now if you have multiple get method or first method then you can config this route configuration by yourself as you want okay so let's see how to config so config dot routes then map http route then you can say that there should be name this is the route name let's say action api okay then second parameter is route template so we have to specify the pattern so we want to use api slash controller then action action then followed by id okay so then we have to specify the defaults values where our id equal route parameter dot optional we want to keep id as optional okay so this is your api routing and this is your pattern we wanna get the data using this pattern where api followed by controller name followed by action then if you want to specify id you can add it but id is an optional okay now what can we do we can test the our api okay so how can we test it we have a method which is get so product controller then get then let's say one you can see that we got the data which is id1 okay so this is the way we can add our own pattern let's say get product okay and you can say get products then run it and let's see so we have API then product is our controller 
then get product products okay and let's see id it is looking for id ducts okay so what about the next one yes this is coming but the get products is not working well so we have get products and get product but still we are getting error hmm so whenever we are calling the get products you know so it is looking for id because if you go to the web config file you will see that our first route pattern is api then controller okay then id so for this reason if we call this one api controller and id it is looking for the first one i mean this one okay so so what has happened here is that it is since this is the first one in the route table whenever you have a multiple routes it will store in the route table and this is the first one so it will first check the first one if it is not i mean matching the pattern here then it will go to the next one so what we can do is we can move this pattern to the next okay so after that we can try again and get products yes it is working because whenever there's a request is coming to the you know framework first of all it will it will check the first one the first pattern if it is not matched then it will go to the next one and followed by the next i mean next patterns okay so since we have api controller then action so you see api controller then action so this is matching for our this pattern right this url so then immediately it will call that product controller then it will select the method which is get products okay so this is what happened here then if we look for the based on id then you see api then controller which is product controller the action then our action name is get product which is this one and still it is when I mean, it has one more parameter which is id so it has a parameter id parameter okay so it will match this method then it will execute after that we will get back the result okay so this is the way you can configure your routing parameters or routing patterns then you can even specify the verbs http verbs for example this is our http get method similarly this is our http get method right and this is our http post method this is http 
put method and yeah we have http delete method i mean delete yeah delete methods so these are called http verbs hmm and one more thing if you have multiple you know i mean multiple verbs you can even specify hmm let's say we have a method which is working for post and put for both cases okay so on the time what you have to do is you have to specify that pattern like accept verbs which verbs let's say put then post okay so you have to specify like that way that means what one action method can be used for multiple actions i mean multiple you know multiple operations put and post operations but this example is not for both cases i just I mean write it for you so you can have an experience or you know at least you know that you can apply i mean multiple actions in the same action method same method okay then one more thing that here we are specifying that get products okay so for example we have that get store products but we can specify hmm specify the name which is called you know action name action name is our get products okay then run it and let's see yep so it is working how it is working although our method name is completely changed which is you see get store products but we have used one more attribute which is action name that means this action name is this one so in this way you can have you know what multiple i mean method overloading which is called method overloading same method name but you are using for different purposes okay for example we have two methods two get methods here one is get products another one is the get product let's say you know action name our action name is get product right even we can give the same name so that means what we have two methods with the same name okay then run it if we don't specify any id then it will execute the first one if we specify the id then it will execute the second one okay let's see so get product yes it is executed we are getting that list of products that means it is executed the first one okay now we can specify the id and let's see you see that it is executed the second one based on id we are getting the data let's say four yep okay that means it is executing the second one I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial don't forget to subscribe this channel and I would like to have your feedback please write your comment in the comment box if you have any doubt or any question feel free to write in the comment box and if you want you can share this tutorial okay so see you soon in the next tutorial which is you know attribute based routing configuration okay Till then, bye.